the name of the topic that we are going to study is the technology and marketing mix. When the technology has become very important in today's environment, it's also important to study why the technology is related with the marketing mix and how the marketing mix decisions like the decisions of the product, like the decision of the promotion, like the decision of the place are being changed because of the technology. For example, you can easily imagine how the emergence of e-commerce, electronic commerce has affected the overall industry of warehousing, overall industry of retail stores, overall industry of product placements in shops, displays. Now the displays has been converted to more online where the product is beautified, shown uh, like this, that the consumer uh, becomes willing to buy that. Similarly, uh, the stuff of the product has also changed. Now the more promotions are being done through the pop-ups on the websites, through the social media, viral marketing and stuff. Social media has become very important in the all marketing decisions. We are going to talk about especially the use of internet and social media networks for promotion. This is our topic. Okay, if we use internet and social media for advertisements, that is called digital marketing. There are a number of benefits that we will obtain from this. First of all, it's always possible to target specific population. I always realize when I, when I want to sell my A-level books to someone and I can always make a specific targeted market on Facebook. Facebook allows me to, to target like this age group between 13 to 18, because those are the students who belong to a level or a level and they can buy my books. So there is no need to advertise my product to those people who are of age 35 or 50, because they are not interested in my book. So we can always target specific groups that might buy our product. So uh, the speed of response is always very high in social media kind of stuff. Consumer quickly share your ads, buy your products. Their actions are very quick when it comes to the social media marketing. So we can say speed of response is high. It also cheap to use because there is no much cost involved in the social media marketing. Sometimes it's even free. And it reaches to those groups that are difficult to reach otherwise. But there are certain limitations of using internet and uh, uh, social media too. Let's talk about those limitations. First of all, some customers may find some ads annoying. The right word that we use for ad is adverts. For pop-ups that appear on the websites, we have to pay. They are not free. Some potential customers may not be using social media. So adverts might not reach to them. Some potential customers may not use social media. There is lack of control over the advertisement. It can reach anywhere you do not want.
and if it reaches anywhere it can sometime affect the emotions of some customers negatively for example you have said something about indians and it reaches to india some uh, protests might be started against you okay if businesses websites um, advertises on their own websites then what happens what might be the result of that again uh, if um, if you place advertisements on your own websites no extra cost because it's your own websites you are already paying for that you can change the advertisements quickly whenever you want you have own control on your advertisements more control you can link other pages with the advertisements social media pages or and other stuff and you can also receive payments through websites it becomes easy for customer to buy however if you uh, use social media there are certain limitations uh, websites there are certain limitations too some potential customers may not see the adverts because they are not using or opening your website so it also depends whether customer will try to find the websites or not whether customer will try to find the websites or not design cost of the website is always high these are few limitations of using website as a source of promotion